Hi everyone, this video will be the start of a series of Go videos. I'll be teaching the basics of Go and slowly building up to some more advanced topics. I also plan on creating some additional content, so please like and subscribe to stay up to date. This video is the first in the series, primarily around a basic Hello World example that can be found in many other programming languages, but today we're going to be doing it in Go. I'll explain the different parts of the file below as we create it, and if you don't have Go already installed, it's definitely going to be a prerequisite. So please pause and check the links below to make sure that you have this set up so you can follow along. So as you see, I have VS Code open here. A few things I want to point out before we start is I do have the terminal open, so uh, I would recommend having this open so you can actually run the commands. And I do want to also mention in VS Code, if you are using VS Code, I know like Adam and some of the other editors have this, but you want to search for Go and you want to install this Go plugin here. It's going to make things easier if you're going to continue on with your learnings of Go. I'll explain while we create this. First, we're going to create a main.go file. And in that main.go file, I'm going to explain each step of the way here. So first, we're going to do package. We're going to do package main. Main package actually tells the compiler that this is going to be an executable file and it allows us to run this as uh, executable or a binary builder. So we're going to set the package as main. And since this is a hello world file, we're going to import a FMT package. Uh, this is pronounced as fumpt, but it's also known as format package. And this is uh, for formatting strings to print and things like that. So we have this imported. Then we're going to create the function for main. It's just the main function that's going to run the uh, FMT print line. I'm going to do hello world. And uh, I, as I mentioned before, installing that component there, um, the extension for VS Code, it's actually going to allow you to get these imports for standard library functions. It's going to actually pull these in when you type them below and actually save. You save in, it, it will import those automatically for you, so you won't have to actually worry about remembering what the package uh, shorthand is. So now that we have this saved, we want to actually prove that this is going to work. So if we run go run main.go, it's actually going to print out hello world. So we see that uh, the program's running successfully. I don't want to get too far into uh, how the runs and builds work. I'll have a quick video on that next, and we can kind of explore that a little deeper. But I hope this video was helpful, and uh, please stay tuned for more content. 